in tonight, continuing to follow the developing news on the plane that crashed into a townhome in Roy. Here's video from earlier. This is from the scene shortly after the crash. Now that plane left the Bountiful Airport at three this afternoon for the Ogden Airport. And as the plane was going to land, something sudden happened and the plane crashed. Now we do know the pilot identified as 64 year old David Good was killed just moments before the plane went down. Good is heard seemingly confident in his expected landing. We're coming up from Bountiful Sky Park and we're now uh, really heading uh, northwest uh, just around Hill Air Force uh, Space and then we'll be joining you. And then the crash takes place. Now the scene tonight still very active. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson, one of the first on the scene. She joins us live. And Brittany, what can you tell us about this crash? Well, Emily, tonight we're hearing from loved ones. They say David Good died doing what he loved. And we're standing just feet away from where that plane went down. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what is left of this Cessna plane. Not much. Everything is torn to pieces. David Good, the sole occupant of this plane, miraculously, no one in this neighborhood was injured. Investigators have been here since about 3 o'clock trying to figure out what went wrong. Flames, black smoke, shooting into the air. The aftermath of a two-engine Cessna crashing into this Roy neighborhood. First responders swarming the entire area. Neighbors rushing to the scene, phones in hand. I was in my in my room. Uh, then, like all the house shake. Then I, I saw like uh, fire. And then this. Multiple explosions. You're hoping. He's fine, that he survived, then it explodes, you lose all hope. You know, it's just sad. Roy City Police say the pilot took off from Bountiful Airport around 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. He was scheduled to land at Ogden Airport at 311. Which is also the time that the plane was observed crashing in the parking lot here. A preliminary investigation shows the plane had its landing gear down, banked left, and hit the top of a townhome. Sergeant Gwynn says the fuel lodge of the plane came down and slid into this parking area between two homes. Witnesses tell ABC4 it was an overwhelming feeling. It's something you cannot see on video. You know, you're there, you're so close, just like in the movies, like you feel like a big bass, like pushes you back a little bit. People living in this neighborhood are minutes away from Ogden Airport. They're growing more concerned about their safety. This is not the first small plane to crash in this area. I think like maybe uh, the airport or someone needs to make something about this. It's very somber. David Good is the founder and president of Good Ski Technologies, which is based in Ogden. The company sent us a statement that reads in part, Dave died Wednesday while taking part in one of his many passions, piloting his airplane. Through his numerous technological advancements in both water, skiing and snow skiing, and financial support of countless events and athletes in both sports, Dave touched the lives of thousands of people by helping them and the sports they love. Push the limits of performance. The NTSB has been called to the scene to try and figure out what exactly went wrong and caused this crash. From our reporting live tonight in Roy, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. Brittany, thank you so much for your coverage this evening. Well, a series